guys and welcome to my weekend saturday vlog and i have a quick question like what helps you make wake up early in the morning like on a weekend because the reason i'm asking this i've been struggling for years and today i literally woke up and took a bath like right now it's what oh, i'm using my Apple watch for recording i think it's like 2 p.m right now and i set my alarms to wake up around 8 and when those rang i even put my alarm here in the bathroom when it rang i just woke up and switched it off and went back to bed and i think at some point i just looked at social media and i slept and only to wake up around 1 p.m and then i was in bed and then uh now i've decided to go and um go on a short hike just to be out of the house so that i can close my apple watch rings because the month of October, I'm planning on closing uh, my Apple Watch rings every day. So I've been doing some form of workout and movement every day. So I'm almost done, which is pretty good. And yeah, I'll update you in a different video about that. Anyways, um, right now I'm just going to do my face. I'm just going to do my face and then... I have food in the house. Um, I cooked salsa and um, collard greens with chicken livers. So yeah, I'm supposed to eat that. My brain knows this is the right way of doing things because I want to eat healthy. Um, but at the same time, I'm craving KFC. I just want some KFC. Go to the library first. And also between KFC or the food I cooked in the house, I want to do um, that thing where you write a note and then you pick. Whatever I pick, I'll do that. If I pick KFC, I'll go and buy KFC. If I pick eating salsa and chicken livers with colored greens, I'll do that and then I'll go from a hike. Okay, so and I'm feeling indecisive. Um, yeah, I'm just going to write here and yeah. It's my heart that wants KFC, and then Saza is my brain <laughs> because it knows what it likes. So there's that. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna use this. Okay, so they're in there. Um. Uh, yeah. Let's see. I think. Yeah, they're not moving. Okay. Just wearing my braids. Here's the KFC. Ah. Oh my gosh, that's a one song. No KFC. and i'm ready to go to the library so this is the book that i want to return and guess what i didn't read this book i took it so actually i couldn't renew it actually because it says a 14 day uh, book loan uh this sticker is put on like new books that are like in demand and whatnot so i took the book and then uh in the hopes of like reading it before i sleep so that i can like fall asleep but that didn't happen at all so yeah i'm just gonna take that book back and then uh, try to re-strategize this whole thing and funny thing that happened whilst i was eating someone knocked on my door and then when i went and checked on that little thingy to see who it is it was like these people were like campaigning for elections so i literally started like <laughs> crawling back to my table to eat so that she doesn't hear me that i am at the door and i was like damn i was so lucky because usually once I, I don't no one comes to visit actually so when someone knocks it's like hmm, who is it and i didn't have a package too so yeah thank god i didn't answer that door and saved myself a lecture for these um campaigns and she left <laughs> Let us 
saved up Now you want me back I'm all the procedure Trying to come to my place Turn around, it's no fun kind of shocked like well i read on the on online like old trails map um usually like just set your hike and if you want to see how the conditions look like usually there are people who are like who like uh update saying that oh i went on this hike maybe two days ago and this is what i saw it's icy is this and that muddy so um i'm expecting this trail to be muddy muddy and uh some snow and then yeah so that's why i carried it like my snow boots and also i'm gonna wear some spikes for icy pages because it's very high in altitude no wonder the snow here um is holding up because it's very cold this side so i actually layered up so yeah it's going to be interesting so yeah i'm just gonna put on my snow boots and my spikes and then walk i think it's going to be one mile which is like 1.2 kilometers but just that the elevation just goes up fast so it gets steep so i'm puffy i've been eight minutes in and so far it's Ooh. so far i've walked point three six miles so i'm left with almost point three four miles you know what let me catch my breath <sighs> yeah my heart is racing but um the fact that i'm halfway here and um uh, it's not excruciating painful like the way it has felt but I think the workouts that I've been doing in the gym are really paying off because uh, this is not painful at all. Yes, I'm huffing and puffing, but I've gone through worse, so this is really nice. And yeah, it gives me motivation to keep pushing in the gym. So yeah, I can hear the waterfalls and uh, I think I'm 10 minutes away from getting there. So yeah, let's continue moving. so i'm um, by myself now oh actually i see new people coming but i've been by myself for like 15 minutes now and just enjoying this waterfall and this is my view yeah it's, it's funny it doesn't feel scary when you're alone out here but if it was if this was like back in zim <laughs> I would have gone because God knows what it would happen, so yeah. Now you want me back on all the procedure. Trying to come to my place, turn around, it's no fun. Yeah. 
Kafo is behind there and I was about to head back and then I saw a lady and a guy uh, coming up here. It's not really a trail. So I was like, ah, oh, let me follow them. I don't know if they were like looking for a place for kissing or whatever. Because when they saw me, they were standing at some point looking at each other and then decided to go further. Me, I was just curious, like, what's on the other side of these rocks? And forgot that people may have other plans. <laughs> but anyways, this is where I am. Looks nice. I'm just gonna walk a bit and then give them their room and continue. Uh, yeah. Ah, did you you one. So they started coming back and then <laughs> the part where I had climbed up it was now difficult for me to come down because it looked like I can easily sleep so I ended up crawling like a seed crawl and made it there. So now I'm going back to the car and yeah I'm just so amazed that this hike was so short like the last time I did it, it felt so difficult and now it's like i did it in no time like the ball of gym yeah this gave me motivation to keep pushing like whatever i'm doing in the gym it's working so yeah here's some snow this is not fresh snow it's like old snow so it's like Goblin. <laughs> years living here and multiple winters I've never made a snowman so that's my first snowman right there <laughs> that I can walk to that side and uh, add my step count and calories bent because I want to close my airport rings and I don't like going to the gym on the weekend so this reservoir is actually is usually like filled up up to here yeah that thing you see the water usually is up to that yeah you can tell where the water level usually is in the summer and all that background you're seeing up there is usually like filled with water so that water comes from the mountains so in winter all these mountains will be covered by snow and uh, the higher the altitude the more the snow so when summer comes then all the water the snow melts and then collects in this reservoir and then there's an outlet somewhere there where it just passes underneath the road and then overflows somewhere there and goes out i don't know where probably to museum or the nearest sea i don't know so yeah uh there's a video of me where i actually took a swim that side so the water was pretty much all the way up there so yeah that's like pretty much it uh, it's a beautiful place to come here i've tried fishing but i was never lucky never caught anything so yeah on the other side now there's my car up there and I walked along this bridge and here where I'm standing there was literally water uh, I think that's where I was trying to swim last time there was literally water up here uh, up to that where those grasses are and it evaporated so yeah and also another thing is in winter this reservoir like freezes up like literally freezes up and people actually start camping in the middle of this thing and do ice fishing where they drill holes in the ice and then uh, try to fish so 
yeah but they're coming this side the road is like you need a four by four like a heavy duty type of car to get to this point in winter so this might be the last time i'll be here till next year so yeah yep i've decided to use this to get back to the car and to think the water is up here in summer and now it's all the way down look at exfoliation it's getting chilly so that's why i'm sneezing that's how exfoliation happens so this marks the end of my day uh, slash activity um yeah i live in a small town in montana and there isn't any uh, diversity like Right now, when I went to the waterfall, there was like two older ladies who were asking me where am I from. I really hate those questions, but that's what I have to do with living out here as a black person. And there isn't many people like you. Um, yeah, so yeah, it's a small town. We don't have much going on. Um, and the basically the only thing you have to do out here is to try to hike uh, already when i moved here i was an outdoor person i loved hiking it's just that hiking back in africa it's not as free as out here like uh, there's so many superstitious stuff surrounded with mountains and places and also it's, it's not just safe to do it alone here it's like safer like the worst that can happen is probably bears but i usually have my best friend i try to use uh to go for trails that are like really popular with people like the one i went to so yeah that's that's what we get up to out here like it is cheaper to live out here like in terms of activities because if i was living in a bigger city here in the u.s then i would have to deal with like paying for parking paying for um activities you know maybe in a weekend you're spending like 200 dollars on like just trying to have fun that sort of thing so here you get to choose if you want to go out in the mountains fishing i used to do some fishing but this year i did not do any fishing um this year i was more into swimming i tried to swim in the lakes because that's what people do out here the water here is clean trust me it's different i don't know about other places but here the water is clean like very clean because it's coming straight from the mountains and we don't have a lot of wildlife uh the wildlife we have is like your deer your bears and whatnot but there are not as many so oh what am i trying to say yeah but yeah um now winter is approaching it's going to be quite tough because the other winters that i've been here i uh, usually I take like a one month vacation and go back home but this time around it's not happening so i'm trying to figure out what to do like maybe try to sign up for like ice skating lessons or skiing so i'll see how it goes and what will be within my budget and see because uh that's the only way to survive here in winter because it gets worse like uh in winter i barely come out here because my car is not a four by four and even if i was a four by four it would be difficult like yeah winter here is brutal especially when it comes to driving is brutal so yeah that's that and yeah so my channel is just about like you know just showing you guys how life is out here at the same time it's like a visual diary for myself because i know i'm not gonna be here forever and but one day i want to like look back and be like oh i used to go to these places i enjoyed you know uh that sort of things but yeah that's pretty much it uh hiking swimming and all that that's what we just get up to out here so yeah let me go back home